case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Do you drink this every day? Every morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, apartment. Good morning, doorway. Good morning, wall. Good morning, ceiling. Good morning, floor. Ready to start the day. You're listening to the morning app on 90.5 WASU. That is correct, the 90.5 WASU FM amazing show, the show, The Morning App, is back with me, Peter. And I, Ben. Happy Friday. Yeah. Uh, The weekend. (laughs) Oh my god, The Weeknd? Famed artist who did that one song, Blinding Lights? Is that the song? Mm, Yeah, no. Mm, mm. Mm, I don't listen to the weekend. That, Me neither. I feel like that's a Stormzy song. Dun, Stormzy. No, dun, dun, na, 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 I was thinking of the meme of Daniel Craig. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the weekend. weekend. Then someone on Twitter will just constantly. Yeah. There's um, one or the the cra- the Mr. Krabs one. Congratulations, Sailor! You made it to Friday. <laughs> um, there's one with uh, why am I forgetting her actual name? Natasha Bar. Oh my God, Orange is the New Black actress. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. I love her, too. I'm blanking on her name. I don't know her name, either. She was in Russian Doll, and it's always a yeah. picture of her saying, Thursday, what a concept! And <laughs> that's one. Um, and then there's another that is um, the man who did Twin, Twin Peaks, like, who made it. What's his name? I David? I don't know. I wasn't a big Twin Peaks Neither fan. Neither am I. But uh, it, it's him, like, announcing the weekend or the day, but it's, like, a new video. Like, he just uh, does it. Oh, uh, weird. Then there's a... Uh... My one of my favorites is the Toy Story one, which is on Saturday, and it's I have to drive all the way to work on a Saturday, on a Saturday. I've never seen that one. Yeah, and it's him driving, you know, across the street to the toy barn. That's like that one is hilarious because that one is so relatable to me and Boone. Like it'll be Saturday, and I'll have to drive from like, you know, my apartment to like Holmes, which is like one mile, and I'll be like, I can't believe I have to go all, all the, way the way to work, work. on a Saturday. On a Saturday. Someone needs to make a Twitter account that compiles all of this so you don't have to follow all these accounts. You just go to one and week every day. <laughs> someone someone who doesn't use Twitter is like, what are yeah, they talking what about? are they? We had to, um, in my sales class. Okay, I'm so sorry to Ben Chapin. Like, he, he was cool with it, but, like, poor Ben Chapin. He was my, like, partner. And, like, I, okay, there's one thing I can't do, and it's being serious. Like, completely serious, playing anything serious. It's just, like, boring. Yeah. And so, like, I had to be his fake bu- buyer. And, um. You were giving him a hard time. I wasn't giving him a hard time, but, like, my car- his, his market, like, he had a. Look who came into the studio. His uh, pitched market was supposed to be in, like, Huntsville, Alabama. When I hear that, I go, oh, my gosh, let me put on a really southern accent and, like, pretend, like, I don't know what social media is. Like, I was doing – I was giving him a hard time. I literally apologized in the middle of recording. I'm like, I'm sorry, Dr. Walsh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I always actually – I tried to be, like, very good as a buyer. I would try and, like, steer them. Like, if they weren't did, doing yeah. right, I would try to steer them into the right Would you direction. like me to sign a contract? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, hey, Pruitt. Hi, Pruitt. Hey, good morning. How are you guys? Uh, and, and Invaded. We're feeling invaded. Invaded by... You! By me! Sorry. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Uh, as I talk about on air sometimes, my twin brother, not in a cool way, we're fraternal, uh, goes to Appalachian State <laughs> as well. And... Um, occasionally, you know, we'll we'll hang out, um, and sometimes he'll ask me for like money, or I'll ask him for money. What? So <laughs> Where is you know, going? Just, just just brothers like exchanging funds. Where um, is this going? But anyway, this morning he uh, needs like gas at his car, and so I was like, I have a crazy schedule this morning. Well, I have siphon out my app. gas. Uh, so <laughs> I had to uh, go help him out with with gas this morning, but now I'm here on cool. the morning up. Cool. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Sailor. You made it to Friday. That's the music that plays in the background of that video. I wish I wish I wish I had context to show listeners because if you uh-huh. do, aren't aware, we not only are heard, we are shown. I don't know why I put it like that. On App TV. On the App TVs. Campus Channel 23.3. And if you want, you can also go on App TV's website. Watch App TV. Dot com. 
or their Facebook. <laughs> Which don't ask me how to do that. Uh, uh, I usually just search www. out to me. Www. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, but I don't know how to do. Like, What's well, a computer? I, 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 we were just talking about me pretending to be incompetent with social media. Okay, yeah. if there's one thing I don't understand, it's the Facha books. Right. Anyways, um, oh, I have I have my two points of listening to the morning app on the way here. Two points. Filling the void that I would have filled. What did you hear us say? Uh, Blinding Lights is by the weekend. Ah, uh, see. Good job. Uh, uh, and this is the listener feedback. What was that we song want. by Stormzy? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know who, they, who that Y'all is. I don't know Stormzy. What's Stormzy? I don't know who Stormzy <laughs> is. No. Stormzy is like the most popular UK rapper. Like, Stormzy is the Drake of the UK. Really? I am proud to be an American. And Stormzy. <laughs> yeah. Well, Stormzy. Proud not, to be an American. But you Storm, that's like yeah, that is a good. Stormzy does. Like, uh, Stormzy sings finished. too. So he does like collabs. Like he's done that that song, the blinding lights or whatever. I thought that was yeah. the title of a different song that Stormzy is on. Huh. Where he like sings. Speaking of collabs. Wow. Twitter update. We're gonna go right into it because I got it, bro. a lot of things and they're small. Um, Cardi B and SZA are collaborating on a Summer Walker track. Does anyone care about any of these? Don't people? care. Summer Walker. Don't care. Still don't care. Anyways, sh- I, I'm not a fan of hers, but like she's like a decent name. She's like I would say like she, C. She a rapper? Yeah, she's a rapstress, I believe Ra- so. Rapstress. I think so. I, I actually don't. I thought she was like an Instagram model, but I think I'm getting so that her confused. If Doja Cat was part included, I would care. Oh well, <laughs> do we want to jump into that? Because I actually have a news story on her. Some Doja Cat. This happened last night. It was kind of crazy. Um, well, I feel like it's gonna be bad. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Twitter update. I was right. Doja Cat is allegedly quitting music. Oh, what? Shout out her. This happened like literally last night, like at midnight. It's like it will be on the headlines today. Like it, it, it's fresh. So no way. the big story is this is a big one, and I'm a huge Doja Cat fan. So this is I, I don't know how true it is. Um, I mean, it was on her Twitter, but like she's known for kind of wiling out on Twitter. Yeah. But what happened was she was in, she's doing it in the middle of like her South American tour, mm-hmm. and there was a huge rainstorm, and I think it like canceled her show or, or something, um, and like people are upset, like people outside of her apartment, like I don't know, uh, upset, not her apartment, her hotel room. I don't know if they were upset or just like crowding around her hotel room because they're fans and like we didn't get to see you but we still wanted to see you yeah but then like the next day no one was outside of her hotel and she tweeted that she was mad about it like she didn't feel like she was being appreciated Interesting. and then like people were kind of like don't say you know that no like i'm kind of like piecing together a story quite literally through tweets is very difficult because then they start deleting tweets mm-hmm. um and then she basically, which these are still up, she basically said, like, I don't want to do music anymore. She's said before how she doesn't like how the music industry is and how it makes it fe- her feel, but... Yeah, I... I don't know if it's her speaking impulsively or what. Being, like, a, a pop star slash just, like, rock star, singer, whatever, is, like, in theory, one of the coolest professions, but I don't think I would like it at all either. I mean, especially because it's just, con- it's, like, write slash produce music. Then it's tour for like ever, and then it's repeat, yeah. and then it's also deal with people all and, the time, and then do commercial for this product, uh, work on music video for your song, uh, do interview yeah. to advertise said song. Yeah, no thanks. Right, like that's exhausting. Uh, from the from the headlines here, I don't know if she's being serious. She included. I think she was being serious in the moment, but I don't right. think she's I don't gonna think follow she's through. Actually, gonna actually. Yeah. Nah, nah. We should do the Wordle on air. I already did it. I haven't done it. And we've done it before. Oh, it's so fun. Yeah, let's do it. All right, Ben, we'll do, you ready? We'll do it before we go to break. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Wordle is that five-letter game. Guess the word. you got six tries to do it. I've been doing it lately. I get, I get them, I've never I get done them the Wordle. three tries or less now. Yeah, it's I've never fun. done the Wordle. So There's so much fun. All right, let's, let's All right, go for what's it. What's the first word? All right. I'm not going to say Five it. letters. I think we should go ghost. That was my word. I'm not even joking. Jo- no way. Wait, shush, 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 shush. Where's my word? Do they give receipts? you any clues or you just think of it? No, that. you just got to go okay, a five so letter word. Just, so, wow. Look, my first word is ghost. What? And shocker, do it. That's so it awesome. That is well, that, so funny. If, if he did ghost and he got it in what, three tries? Oh, that's, that's true. So, ghost isn't the word. Yeah. It was it's a really that, hard but word. But that also means ghost had to have, like, Given uh, him some correct. It is the last Let's letter T other... is correct. Oh, what yeah. if we did toads? Well, he just said the no. last letter is a T. Do ghost. Do ghost. Because ah. you already guessed it, basically. That's true. <clears throat> All right. 
It's probably like post. Done, done ghost. All right, for listeners on air, we have the letter O is included in this five-letter word, the and then the last letter is T. Uh, so it's got to be This is a really hard one. Um, I got oh it right gosh. in three tries, but it's, it's very difficult. Hmm. Um, we boost? might have to. We have a few minutes, but boost. What? Boost? No, no because, because it would show who, who's S, double. It, there's no S in, in uh, the Lord. Yeah. There's and no it S? doesn't show it doesn't show oh, a double. It doesn't? It does not show a double. If the word appears if the letter appears twice, it doesn't signify that. Oh, I thought it even showed. if you get it one of them in the right position, that's why I always What's get like a, up. Like a, a word like a the double O in like a Dude. an L. Like well, a, uh, there's no there's no room for the double O anymore though, because it's just um because it, it's in the middle, <laughs> which just, is not yeah. in the middle. You're just hearing my stupid. This is yeah. we might we might have to take this to break <laughs> and have y'all solve it over the break. Okay. <laughs> you don't think this is interesting, here, anti Peter? <laughs> here, here, do you want me to give you a hint? Am I being confused? No, I don't want no, to. No, I want to give a hint. Peter hints. We're, we're not solve. If y'all ain't solve this by the time the show wrap comes back. All right, listeners on air, we'll be right back. The morning app on ninety point five W. When one arrives in Boone, you pretty quickly feel embraced by the mountains. The same thing happens here at the university. When you are a student here at the College of Business, you're embraced by the Appalachian community. The name Appalachian State University, it means something and it connects with people. The experience goes beyond academics. There's a culture here. Everywhere I go, I wear that golden A. I take pride in that. It's not something that you find everywhere. One of the things that's great about Appalachian is it has the resources of a big school, but the small school community. Professors here take such an important view of how they can impact the lives of students. That's the reason why we're here, supporting the students, seeing that they're successful both in their time here and then as they graduate. We have a remarkable connection between faculty and students. We have some of the leading voices in the field, so it really creates a, an intellectually vibrant environment. We have the smaller class sizes, we have the high faculty engagement, and it really sets us apart. These students are phenomenal. These students are, in my opinion, going to be the change seekers and change makers in the world, not only through their professional skills, but also because of the passion they have got for making this world a better place. A lot of people think of school as coming to the classroom and then going home and doing homework. At the Walker College, it's not like that. We're really trying to rethink how we deliver education, what the purpose of education is really trying to break that hierarchy of the professor being out in front with all the great ideas and instead saying, you know what, everybody has great ideas. They're figuring out those solutions through innovative thinking, through an innovative process. Innovation is the edge. We are trying very hard to push our students to think in ways that they can not only think outside the box, but what kind of positive impact they will be able to make in the world. Having these different opportunities really sets our college apart. We're trying to prepare the leaders of tomorrow by giving them ways of thinking about problems so they come up with solutions that are meaningful. The students hit the ground running. They are the most technically competent, ready to go day one students. You know, when you get out into the business environment, that's the attitude you have to have. Hiring an Appalachian graduate, as an employer, I know that I've got someone who can come in and hit the ground running. One of the phrases you'll hear used often in the College of Business is business for good. We want our students going out in the world and helping to make it better by using business practices that can help. I'm thankful for the transformational experience that Appalachian has given me. This college has, has shaped me both as a, as a person and I think a, a servant leader. Being a Mountaineer and being part of the Walker College of Business has shaped who I am today. I'm really excited to enter the workforce with the skills that I've gained here. 
Show, the morning app on 90.5 WASU. Gotta get the word off. <laughs> they're literally, they're, they're still on it. And like, once they get the word, I know they're gonna be mad because there's something, something very ironic in the way. They're, the, yeah, they're not. They're, it was a really difficult word. That's all I'll say. Um, but we're gonna not talk about what's going on with Wordle because because <laughs> no one cares. No one, no one cares. It's about to be not free to play anymore once the Wait, New York Times comes. Have back. we used a? These people. We've not used a. Could it be adopt? adopt? Oh, that's a really good one. Oh my god. Let's try it, Ben. Well, he knows it, so yeah. he's Oh, wow, we, we got a lot of letters from that one. That's what I was like. You got a great w letters from that. Ah. But they're not in the right spot. We're not playing this much anymore. Okay. Put it away. I'm, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to confiscate your phone. Okay, anyway. Wow. Twitter update. Yeah, anyway. I, <laughs> anyway, I literally turned on your microphones for a second by accident. <laughs> Twitter update. Doja Cat, we already said, hopefully she's not dropping out of music, but I have one more uh, topic about modern music-ish, and it's that Lil Nas X is coming back. He wow. was, he's on social media again. Oh, nice. Uh, he, you don't care? Yeah, I actually do. He, I follow him on Twitter. He's the best. Yeah. He, Why did he take a break? Goofy. He had the money that he could afford to do so. Cool. I think he deals with the mental health issues, too. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I, I, he's already talking about a second album, like, Oh my god. He'd been teasing his first album because I've been following him forever. He'd been teasing his first album for like almost two years though, so I guess, you know, yeah. props to him. Did he drop it? Yes. His first album? Okay. Just just making sure. Montero. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Uh, it, it was. I'm, I'm what? waiting for Peter's opinion. It, it was, <laughs> yeah, wow, that was, it, that, that was the that, most suspense I've felt in that, weeks. <laughs> that silence speaks for what I feel about I it. I thought I was supposed to talk. I, got I know. I was it, like, it was do we need to give Peter a word? A wordle, perhaps? <laughs> a five letter? Adopt a new uh, behavior. <laughs> so, wait, wow. it has all of those Twitter letters except for A. Right. Oh, my God. Yeah. Sorry, I had to just think about and that. And T, T is the last one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Twitter update. <laughs> Um, wow, now I got lost. Oh, this is speaks to y'all. There's a deleted scene from the Batman with, what's his face, Robert Pattinson, really. Better kill. As the Joker. It's really cool. Wait, how do you say his last name? Better kill. Because he's, he's Irish. That's right. And I would have said it Keegan. <laughs> it's spelled K-E-O-J, I'm sorry, G-H-A-N. I would have said Keegan. Oh, yeah, Keegan. Right. Uh, he's not in a lot of things. He was in Dunkirk, though. He was in Dunkirk. He was wow. in The Green Knight. Uh, he's a really good actor. I like he, I like, I like Barry Kewen a lot. I like looking He was at in him. Eternals. If you saw Eternals. Yes, he was in yeah. Eternals. It was his, his character's name was something stupid. Yeah, he was probably the most fleshed out character in that movie. Though. Oh, really? Was he like a main character? Yeah. Oh. I wouldn't mind looking at that all day. He was mm -hmm. he's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I don't. I didn't see the scene, but it's been like released to like public people. Did you see it? Yeah, it's on YouTube. What, ki what, what happens in it? Yeah, so it's it's kind of a Silence of the Lambs type vibe, where uh, basically the scene in the context of the movie would have existed, where Batman's going into going into Arkham to talk to the Joker as like. Uh, a serial killer advisee, like, That's suspicious. Oh, how do you know who the Riddler is? You know, and <laughs> Joker would be like, ha, 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 Batman, you know, and would Please tell, tell him me Barry, stuff. Barry talks exactly like uh, that. He does not, unfortunately. But, but it's really interesting because he's shot through, like, this pane of glass for most of it. Uh, but you can see the back of his head. Yes. He's all disfigured. And then um, finally, at the very end, you see him, and he's just disgusting. Like, his nails are really gross. His face is all messed Cause up. Because he's supposed to be, like, an Arkham Asylum prisoner. Yeah, right. But it's, like, this really kind of like, kind of monstrous take on the Joker where he just – he is really disfigured and looks just super, super nasty. Um, sure. Yeah, but I dug it. It was cool. It was, like, five minutes long, though. I get why they cut it. It's so unfortunate, though, when you cut, like, something so, like, big – but all right, at least they released it somehow. Yeah, he thought it, Matt Reeves thought it would have taken away from the actual narrative of the movie, which I, which I agree with. You know, I understand. Um, do we have anything else to say on Mr. Batman? Uh, you saw love it, right? it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, <laughs> Peter, I did. Vengeance, <laughs> something in the way. Whoa! <laughs> you know, the <laughs> 
Oh. Yeah, is it Depot though? Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, you're talking about Depot. It's Wordle. Depot. It's it Depot? Depot. Let's see if it's Depot. Depot. It is Depot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got it. And we that's why it. it's ironic because we're on Depot Street. I was oh, not no going to say yeah, nothing. I didn't know not. that. But you got it. I didn't know what street we were on. It took us 10 minutes. I thought we were on River Street. <laughs> Wait, I didn't go up. Hold up. Let me click it again. Wow. Twitter update. This is something that people care about. Uh, pff, not Wordle. I guess people cared about it. People are thinking that the Oscars are really tight this year in terms of, like, a lot of, like, nominations. It could be anyone. Yeah, can I talk about this? I'm super stoked. One of them being, well, let's start with this one first, and yes. Yeah. The Best Actress apparently is, like, super tight. Everyone's oh, yeah. like, it could be anyone. Um, the nominees for are Jessica Chastain in The Eyes of Tammy Faye, Olivia Coleman in The Lost Daughter, Penelope Cruz in Parallel Mothers, who got a lot of nominations. She's awesome. Nicole Kidman, which I'd never even heard of this, being the Ricardos and Some crime. Kristen Stewart in Spencer, mm-hmm. which I've heard is, she's like spectacular in. Yeah, she's really good. What, what? Let's start with what's tight there. Who okay. do you think is gonna take it? Yeah, so I uh, finally watched The Eyes of Tammy Faye, which Jessica Chastain is nominated for last night. So I'm caught up on the Best Actress, um, and I don't know. Like they're all wonderful performances, which is usually the case for Best Actress. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. Every year at the Best Actress race, it's always like, oh, I don't know. You know, all these women are great performers. Um, and so, I'm not sure. I love, love, love Penelope Cruz, and I you know, want to see her be successful, but I think Kristen Stewart being so young and That'd be really cool. it and Spencer, she, she deserves it. That'd be really cool, because the role she's known for is Garbo, so like I don't know. Yeah. I feel like that'd be like a, such an awesome evolution to see. Right, exactly. She's she's great. Um, kind of like Rob Pat has has gotten this renewed appreciation. For Ironic, her. yeah. Yeah, we no. We're talking I, about Batman. I think that um, Kristen Stewart deserves it for for Best Actress. So I I would love to see that happen. Don't know if it will. Um, I don't think it'll go to Olivia Coleman. She's won Oscars. She's fine. <laughs> but we'll Good see, you, Olivia. I wonder what the uh, money line or like the odds are for it. Because one time I bet on the Oscars, mm-hmm. and oh they God. literally have like you know odds for people to win things. So like yeah. in, like very tight categories. I'm curious would they have it? Because Vegas is good. Like uh-huh. they what? are very good at like placing like the oh, odds oh. for stuff. Yeah. I was like, Vegas is that another TV series? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. Yeah. So I'm curious, but uh, yeah, I haven't even seen the. All of those, so right. I gotta, I gotta catch I up. still haven't seen I May Destroy You. Do you know how behind I am on, like, things that have been nominated for things? <laughs> yeah. I've been watching through all 38 of the nominations. I think I have... Yes, I remember that. Yeah, th- I have nine movies left, I think. Um, nice. But it's mostly mostly documentaries, so I'm... I'm cool with it. What's uh, what, what what do you think is gonna be like a sleeper winner? Like, what do you think is gonna be a big surprise? Yeah. Uh, so Coda, which is this yeah. uh, movie movie uh, starring a predominantly deaf cast, which yeah. is really cool. Three of the four main characters are. Yeah. Deaf. It's it's a wonderful little movie. It's really cutesy. It's like, re- it's it's very cute. Um, I watch it with. My girlfriend, I was crying. She was like, "Why are you crying?" <laughs> um, it, it was really, really great. But, um, but I don't know. I don't think it has necessarily the gravitas to no. kind of outclass the power of the dog uh, for for best picture. Um, but people have really responded to it in like award ceremonies. Uh, so we'll we'll see what happens because it was like way at the bottom of like. Like the predictions, I go on goldderby.com for my my Oscar bets, and then um, I was looking, and uh, it shot to the top. Like a lot of people are like, "Coda's gonna be it," but um, I don't know. I I still think Power of the Dog will probably probably eke it out for Best Picture. Be interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I think Power of the Dog is gonna take it. Mm -hmm. The the I I couldn't I can't remember the character's name, but Jesse Lon Plemons is in a movie with Molly Shannon that I watched forever ago. I'm always like, oh my god, he looks very different in Power of the Dog. Yeah. Oh my god. I love Jesse Plemons. He's great. I think I think I'm thinking of the same person. Jesse Plemons in in. Hold on, now I have to go check something because I normally don't like doing this on the air, but I swear that's him. I just don't remember the Maybe movie. Maybe that will talk. Other people. Other, yeah. uh, uh, other people. Right. The movie is Other People. It's on Hulu or Netflix or something. Yeah. 
Okay. Is Probably it, Hulu, the not sponsored streamer of the morning app. Yeah, the not sponsored. I've always wanted to do a joke like this episode of the morning app was sponsored. <laughs> um, wait. Okay. So then, what do you think is gonna win it? Coda or Power of the Dog for best picture? Power of the Dog. Uh, like I, uh, like I loved Coda. Loved it. It was great. Um, I think I think Power of the Dog is better. Maybe. Yeah. There's rarely would a movie like that. It is very just like cutesy and wholesome, and, and it's very good. Uh, I, I rarely would a movie like that win Best Picture, mm-hmm. especially when it's like such a dramatic film as as uh, it's not over dramatic, but dramatic film as yeah. Power of the Dog. Yeah, stand by that. Anyway, we'll talk about it on Monday after the Oscars on Sunday night. Are you're gonna be you're gonna be the lone person who's watching it. That is okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Twitter update. This one got me together. Um, Three Pikachu dance to the Japanese song Sakura Sakura to welcome Japanese springtime. Awesome. How do you feel about the people in weird suits like that? I was like about to say, it's like when you say three Pikachu, yeah. I do like... It's the people... It's actually really weird. Oh, I thought you meant like a cartoon. No, no, no. Hold I on. thought that at first, but then I assumed it was people in a Pikachu costume. How, uh. how do you feel about people in the costume, like in, in those big suits? Because I used to be super it's afraid like, of them. I mean, it's like going to... LA and you see all the people dressed up and like the, the, the yeah you know yeah. What I mean? like the on the sidewalk like you're walking down the stars or whatever and then there's like the Statue of Liberty yeah, I've never been like, to Los Angeles I don't I don't know this like they always have weird people dressed up no in way. like costumes you don't, don't front, the, you know what we're talking about though. outside the Chinese theater I didn't know that that's cool like there's like, Spider-Man like there's probably Batman yeah well, it's but like they're Disney always, they're always like knockoff like oh. like if you like the costumes you buy at Party City that's like interesting red superhero arachnid man yeah, yeah. right 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 they're just uh, like that that's really funny huh but these guys are like real like it's it's like official because like springtime in japan is huge i'm not like a huge Jap- japan person but like it's literally them just dancing in cherry blossom oh that's cute it is i just find it incredibly bizarre because i i really don't like people in giant it looks like it'd be in how, like do you, a... how do you feel about yosef our appalachian state mascot peter unnerved and i know or or, or uh, joe basie as uh as one of the boom bigfoot mascots yeah he, he used to do that and i i met i met him in costume i was like joe <laughs> Please get away from me. Yosef. I, I'm not scared of them anymore, but, like, I am still mildly unnerved of people yeah. in those costumes. <laughs> like, don't, like, a mascot, uh, don't don't come up to me. Got it. Yeah. Get popped with a baseball hat. That. Mascots are loved in the morning app, even if Peter doesn't love you. I love you just from a distance. <laughs> like my parents. <laughs> love you, Mom. Mm. We'll be right back. <laughs> In 1899, the misty ridges of northwestern North Carolina became home to a simple yet powerful vision to transform lives and the region through the empowerment of education. Nearly 120 years later, students still feel the pull of this unique place, and Appalachian has remained grounded in the vision of our founders, providing rural access to a sterling education and serving the region. The Mountaineer passion for lifelong learning is cultivated from an early age. Right now, Appalachian's youngest Mountaineers are developing critical learning skills while also discovering that college is in their future. And when they are ready, their college on the mountain will be ready for them. So the children that go to school here at the Academy are from all across Forsyth County, particularly children who may be struggling readers. Um, Our goal is to improve literacy for all students K-5 to work with them, um, bring in the curriculum through Appalachian State University and the reading clinic and support learning across um, all disciplines. The experience for a university student here at Middle Fork is really critical. We're able to show them what their practice that they're learning in the classroom looks like in action. So now we have this community of learners that aren't just little kindergarten through fifth grade students, but we also have teachers who are learning together with them. And they really are building a community um, that the Academy is really proud to be, to be a part of. So I've been teaching for 31 years. And one of the questions people always ask me is, why are you still doing this? Why aren't you retired? And my answer to them is because we finally got it right. Um, These children are getting to interact with university professors. They are now identifying with Appalachian. They're saying that's my college. 
I'm going to go to that college on the mountain. Uh, and they're very excited about that. And so now, you know, these are children who could be first generation college students. Um, and they're already thinking about it and identifying as college students. I love being here. I love being at the academy because this is like uh, one of the best opportunities that a principal can have. I mean, the amount of support I've had as a principal, I, I it's just overwhelming. And I just like being a voice for children and to be a partner with the parents and a partner, you know, on behalf of App State University. This is what I love doing, so I'm very thankful. You know what? Uh, we still have things to talk about that's going on in the world. No way. We're just dragging. <laughs> We're, well, I don't know if we want to talk about all this stuff. Um, the only... Uh, do you, does anyone care about Moon Knight? You're gonna watch it? I care about Moon Knight. I do, I do too. I do too. I just don't know what do we have to say. Um, it comes out in five days. Yeah, Moon Knight, Oscar Isaac. Marry comes, me. Comes out the same day as Morbius, so you can get all your Morbius. Marvel content in and in one day. Fly. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> is that the one that people are there's like some thing that's being oh no 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 there's something that's being released at the same time as the new um obi-wan movie um on disney plus oh oh miss marvel oh yeah, yeah and yeah. people are saying they're doing that because they're worried that people aren't gonna watch it otherwise mm, interesting so i i Unrelated to them, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't resonate with Miss Marvel, that Miss Marvel adoration as a character. I never really have. Yeah, well, fortunately, none of us are young Pakistani women. Well, so. yeah, of course. But I, yeah. I, I, I was talking about this with <laughs> friend of the show Jacob Minton. Um, I love Jacob Minton. He's coming back to Boone in a few days. He was an old EMB student. Oh yeah. But I could guess about it all day. I think fanboy, fanboy. Fan <laughs> Jacob Minton is. I told. I told him this to his face when we last talked. I was like, "You're literally the most talented person I've ever met." He is ridiculously talented. Really? He's a production person. But That's cool. He's yeah. Uh, we, were, we were talking about like Spider-Man stuff and, yeah. and stuff like that, and I was like, "A lot of people got on Miles Morales. Like they didn't get his character. Everyone nice. had this whole uproar about yeah. um, uh, what was that movie? It's a Spider-Verse. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh no, I freaking loved." Uh, before the movie, movie right. came out, I was hyped. But uh, but then they watched it, and they were like, Miles Morales is awesome. And, right, and now it's suddenly like they forget all their... So I know how it feels, but I know the character yeah. of Miss Marvel already. I'm not a big fan of hers. I don't love young Miss Marvel either. She's, yeah. she's not my favorite. But um, Hopefully yeah. the Disney Plus surprises you. Yeah, and, and super cool 
representation. I think that oh, for uh, real, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that the young actress seems really excited about the role too, and that's awesome. But Moon Knight seems rad, it's and I am super cool. I'm very, very excited for Oscar Isaac to be doing his crazy thing on on the small screen. I hope they do that character justice. He Moon Knight is literally one of my favorite comic characters. Yeah, he's so freaking cool. His outfit is dope. It's hard to track down any Moon Knight comics though, because they're all out of print. Yes, he, well, yeah, you can. Yar har har, that's all I'll say. Yeah. Yar yeah. har har, that's what. That's how I. I, I know. Do. I like having physical editions and stuff, though. <laughs> that's true. I can't play DS games pirated. Yeah. Not that I'd ever do that. <laughs> <laughs> the seven C's. <laughs> Are you gonna watch Moon Knight? Probably. It's really. It's, oh, it's like it's being a lot of people who have like pre-seen it and stuff. Yeah. It's like I don't want to say like it's the gritty version. You know, it's it's grittier than most Disney things, but right. it is like. A lot more like creepy That's and like cool. sinister. I'm so looking forward to it because that <sighs> Moon Knight is dope. Yeah, I'm excited. Which is great because the Marvel Netflix shows are on Disney Plus now. Yeah, they just so, got on there. Yeah. I think I still have Mackie's Disney Plus. I'll watch it if I do. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Yar har har. Um, <laughs> we got about five minutes left before Pruitt takes a little. Has to go don my Moon Knight identity. <laughs> Conchu. So while we're on the topic of all that, though, <laughs> yeah. I, it's kind of in the in, in the vein of it. I shouldn't put you on the spot, but um. Would you like an avocado? No. Uh, would you? What would you want to see rebooted? Oh, if I like, rebooted, either like remade no or rebooted. Reboots. <laughs> no reboots. You have no to say reboots. something. Gun to your head. Huh. Like or or just like brought back to continue. Everyone knows what mine is. It's high fidelity, but. <laughs> Any series ever, like a con- continuation of interesting, um, or or you know doing a sequel to a movie, you know just an an IP revisited. Hmm. Yeah, like like Ben, I'm I'm kind of kind of like it, you guys have made the art. Let's give it some distance, and then if someone has a new creative take on it, come back and crush it. Yes. But um, I don't know. There there are a couple of Netflix shows that I personally feel like deserve justice that maybe I didn't necessarily watch but i just felt bad for the creative team when they were like know. our show got canceled that is not that's not a fun answer yeah because in my opinion i'm like well part of the reason might be people didn't watch it yeah, yeah but i mean my true. show that's true my favorite show people didn't watch it and i think it's like one of the greatest shows ever so i don't know hmm reboot 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 <sighs> this is what we should pitch some ideas uh i would like to see the movie for community yeah, I said six seasons in a movie, and, and like the more time that passes, the less likely it is to be made. Which mm-hmm. is the, just the truth of the matter, especially because most of those actors' careers have only like gotten even more big. Of course, Donald Clever, Glover being like the big one. Yeah, uh, have I told you guys that my roommate's uncle is the dean on Community? Iqbal, oh my God, what? wait, what? Yeah, yeah, because he, he's the from dean? he's from Charlotte. Yeah. The Dean is a great character. I know. Uh, Jim Rash, that's his name. Yeah, Jim Jim, Rash. Jim Rash has... Jim Rash is the man. (laughs) Fun fact of the day, Jim Rash has the inverse of my life. Jim Rash is from Charlotte, but he went to... There's a really fancy private school from my hometown of Lawrenceville, New Jersey. And guess what he went? He went to that school when I moved, I believe, to Charlotte, I Uh think. I could be wrong about the year, but, like, very weird how we both had the same locations just in reverse. Jim Rash is from Charlotte. So, so friend's uncle? It, my, my yeah yeah my roommates roommates uncle oh roommates uncle Dude, so like get very close yeah like yeah. get can I mean, we interview we're Jim friends Rash? as well um apparently you, Jim you Rash, Rash, I mean I Jim, love the Jim community. Rash is a very busy man you should, <laughs> yeah I know but yeah. I I I love community that would be yeah you should be really like cool. uh, he's my uncle now too <laughs> <laughs> my uncle in law yeah Dean Craig Felton uh, Mr James Rash yeah. <laughs> Who incidentally also voices the Riddler on Harley Quinn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Adrian Max show. He's a uh, uh, he, he, he pops up. He's also in like a few episodes of Glee. Yeah. Not to get you know my Glee hype train again. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Jim Rash is one of those people who just shows up. And so is um uh, Dan. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, 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 hmm. Oh my God, I blanked on his name and I was about to say it, but I was afraid I was gonna say it wrong. Abed's character actor. What's his name? I don't know. Pudi. I don't know his Oh. Oh my God, I, I'm so sorry. I mean, I, you're, it's like Danny, uh, uh, Danny Pudi, Danny Pudi, okay, Pudy, I was right, yeah. yeah, he's in, uh, he's one of the ducks from DuckTale. No way. And so is, uh, John Ralphio. Huh. 
<laughs> oh, who oh, also from from Parks and Rec. We're about to do the six degrees of connection cause, or separation because he's also that guy, John Ralphio, is yeah. the voice actor for Sonic the Hedgehog. Wow. And the voice actor for Knuckles in the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog it's movie. Idris Elba. Idris Elba, who was in The Office. That's how I know Idris Elba. <laughs> nice, kind of the triple thread of, of sitcoms everyone likes. Yeah, except that Ben. Was <laughs> yeah, Ben likes literally. Doesn't those. enjoy The Office. Oh no, he likes Community. How do you feel about Parks and Rec? No, I like Parks and Rec much better than The Office. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah much better. And uh, classic I like, morning after. I would if you here. count Silicon Valley as a or Always Sunny. Always Sunny is my favorite sitcom. But yeah. those like, d- I feel like workplace comedy has become like its own genre. Because The Office, mm-hmm. was, I wouldn't say it's the first, but it's definitely the first big one. Mm-hmm. But like, uh, uh, it's different t- styles of comedy. But Reno 911 is old, yeah, but Reno, it's so funny. Reno 911 yeah. is classic. That is is <laughs> one of the original workplace comedies. Scrubs as well. Scrubs. Yeah. Scrubs Mash, was goaded. Kind of. Scrubs was. Mike, have you ever there's a there's like an open psych- psychometrics thing and it has like a bunch of television show characters like. Oh like, yeah, uh, yeah yeah The one I who I that. always get like I took it literally a few days ago and I took it like five years ago. Uh-huh. I feel like a completely different person. Yeah. Five years ago, I'm still the same character and it's from Scrubs. Never seen it. Um, you had a five season character arc. Peter. Do, do, wait, do you all know who? Have you seen Scrubs? I haven't seen Scrubs. Do you? You know, no. uh, my character is apparently uh, the person I'm most like is Elliot Reed. And then I was watching clips of her, and I'm like, oh, oh God. Yeah, you're like, wow. I, no, I know it was worse because I was like, oh, God. I, <laughs> I, I actually see myself in this character. That's awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. I, I yeah. almost want to watch the show just so I can be validated. How, how old is Scrubs? 2001, I think. Yeah, oh, okay. Because I, I thought it was like a show from the 70s, you know, oh, that everybody yeah, yeah. watched. Wait, you know what we're talking about, though, right? Scrubs? Yeah, it's like Doctors. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a comedy. Yeah. It, it's, pretty, it's pretty good. It's like Grey's Anatomy, but... Uh, it's a comedy, yeah. What's dude's yeah. name? Zach. Zach Braff. Zach Braff, that's right. Yeah, what a name. <laughs> Zach Braff. That doesn't sound real. <laughs> he was like the one hit wonder in the. He's in, in the scrub world. I believe, yeah. I believe it's him. He's in the. Speaking of, we're going to come full circle and yeah. send you off. Full, coming full circle, he's in the reboot of Cheaper by the Dozen on Disney Plus. Nice. Talk about a double whim Excellent coming full stuff. circle. Bang, bang, bang. All right, guys, I'm going to develop my Disney Plus series. He's going to go will. be one of the children on Cheaper by the Dozen. <laughs> <laughs> and I will see you on Monday to talk about the Oscars. Woo! And other oh. stuff. Morning up. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye, y'all. These crazy college kids, they don't know what they're talking about. The Morning App on 90.5 WASU. Hi everyone, I'm Dave Blanks from University Communications here in the Beaver College of Health Sciences. It's the 10 year anniversary of the Beaver College and we're going to interview some nursing students. Come along with me. Guess how old the Beaver College of Health Sciences is? I don't know. No idea? Nope. Care to wager a guess? Hmm. Five years. No, you're <laughs> so almost there. We'll keep going around until we find somebody maybe who knows. So, How do you like the Beaver College of Health Sciences thus far? I love it. It's been a really fun time making relationships with all my classmates and the faculty are very great. Um, they're very caring and it's not something I expected. I didn't expect them to care as much about me as they do, and so it's been really nice in this hard time going through nursing school. Why did you want to be a nurse? Well, when I was little, I had cancer. So oh. just seeing like how the nurses helped my mom and like right. how she still really like thinks about the nurses and how much they did for her, I wanted to do that for other people. What would this be called? This thing, like if you were gonna look on, on Amazon, it, it, it must have a name, right? It's called Seymour Butts. No, it is not. <laughs> it totally is Seymour. So what do you like about the Beaver College of Health Sciences? Can you share with some, me something that you enjoy about yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, what do you not like about it? It's, it's honestly beautiful. It's We have everything available to us. Like as nursing students, I feel like I have like the most opportunities I would ever need. Um, just having like labs like this to kind of simulate like a real patient experience, that's definitely a highlight for me. It's just been a blessing to be able to go here. Do you feel like you're doing good? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I love your confidence. <laughs> Is he going to be all right? Of course. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> Did you know how old the Beaver College of Health Sciences is? Can you guess? 
10 years. Oh my gosh, you got it. Yes, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Wow. We have this arm for you. <laughs> I brought nothing for you, but yeah, how about a hand? Yeah, give her a hand. So I understand that you received a scholarship, is that correct? Yes, I am part of the Beaver Scholars here, and with that, hopefully I am able to get into the nursing program. What made you want to be a nurse? Uh, well, it all started with just experiences back at home with having accessible, like not having accessible health care for my parents and the majority of the people who live in my town. I always saw the struggle there of people uh, trying to find ways of getting health care and being able to afford it as well. It seems like the scholarship has, has made a big impact in your life. Oh, of course, of course, yes. It's helped my family. Part of my graduating class, maybe 20, 30 students made it out to college. So that's something big and like something I'm proud of. Did y'all know that the Beaver College of Health Sciences is having an anniversary like right now? Oh, it's 10 years, right? How many? Yeah, 10. 10. Right? She got Point five. WASU, the morning app, is here to wrap up. we got about 10 more minutes in the show. Hi, I'm Peter. And Ben. Ben, I'm putting you on the spot. You're taking a quiz oh, I've God. already taken. We're going to take the open, I'm taking a short version of it, the open psychometrics test to see what characters you most like. Oh, boy. Um, okay. So how it works is I'll be I'll be manually doing this. You have like two different options and you're supposed to say which one you're more like. And like it's by a slider, so like give me like a 30-60 percentage. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Would you say you're more punk rock or preppy? Uh 60-40 punk rock. Okay, I can do that. Wait, my fat fingers. Whatever. It's 59 40. I'm actually not preppy at all. I'm just not very punk rocky either. Yeah. Artistic and scientific. Mm. Um, definitely like 75 25 artistic. Okay. Masculine, feminine. Ooh, that's triggering for me. 50 50. Nerd or jock? That is triggering. That, <laughs> um, what was it? Nerd or jock? Speaking of triggering. Yeah, that is too. Um, 50-50? Uh, I don't like that question. Me neither. Creative or conventional? There we go. 65-35 uh, creative. Okay. 60. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. I'm it's fine. Char charming or awkward? Ooh, these are things you should ask uh, by yourself. Yeah, I don't know. I like to think I'm decently charming. Let's go with like 70-30. Okay. Charming. Strict or lenient? Uh, ooh, God, that's it's tough. It just depends on what it is. Uh, uh, sixty-five, thirty-five, lenient. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Deranged or reasonable? Deranged. What a word. I know, right? Um, I'm I like to think I'm pretty grounded, but also not. Uh, we we'll go sixty forty. Uh, what was the the, the reasonable? Ladder. Reasonable. Real? I think you're more reasonable than that. Yeah, well, I was, you know. It's your quiz. <clears throat> wild or tame? We're almost done. 60-40 wild. 60-40. Hold on. Actually, go smooth 50-50 if you oh. still can. Nope. Nope. All right. Okay. Deep or shallow? Uh, <laughs> I'm shallow. Um, 50-50. All right. Intellectual or physical? Well, I'm not physical. Uh, let's go... 75, 25, intellectual. Bossy or meek? You got two more questions after this. Um, 60, 40, meek. 60, 40. Hold on. There we go. Juvenile or mature? Uh, this is another weird thing because it's like with real issues and stuff, I'm, I feel like I'm very mature. Especially how I like handle things. This but, stage of life, too. But also, like, just day to day mindset, like interactions, you would think I do not care at all. Um, I already forgot the answer choices. So. Juvenile or mature? Uh, we'll go 60 40 mature. Boop, 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 boop. Almost there. Quarrelsome or warm? I guess, like, prone to argument or warm. Yeah. Uh, uh, 65 35 warm. Hold on. Wait, a little bit more. There, warm. got it. 
no, get survey results immediately because we don't have time. Oh. <laughs> you have to pay. <laughs> I don't know who this character is, and I don't know this show. Let me see. I know the show. William H. Shakespeare Hill from This Is Us. You have a 91% match. That's even stronger than me as Elliot Reed with mine is 86. Oh, my gosh. Other characters are Reginald Bubbles Cousins from The Wire. Haven't seen that. Salvatore Romano from Mad Men. Han Lu from Fast and the Furious. And then I got to answer surveys to do see the rest of these. Oh, my God. I'm just literally putting in random things. Sorry, open psychometrics test, but <laughs> blah. No. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Deborah from Baby Driver. Oh, Deborah. Eighty-eight percent. Wow. You. Okay. Oh, and you were Sam from The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Is eighty-eight. I don't see that. Wow. Yeah. I see the same per personality, but not the same like decisions in life. Yeah. There's nothing else that's like particularly interesting. Oh, you. You have an eighty-six percent match with Hobbs from Calvin and Hobbs. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. I've always said that there should be like like. All people can be measured by a certain amount of percentages of the community characters. Like, yeah. everyone has, like, a certain amount of community character in them, and and you just measure by percentages. Because, like, it, it, most personality tests, like, scientific ones, are not as accurate as, like, like the 16 personality thingy. No, yeah, it's, it's not real. It's usually based off of a percentage thing. So I'd be like, the percentage thing for me is <laughs> how much of a percent are you per character on community? That's great. I, I still can't get over the fact that we have a connection to Jim Rash. I didn't. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, that's really. And that's not like, you know, my cousin's friend's dad's, you know. Like if his family, if his roommate, if Pruitt's roommate's, fam Pruitt's roommate's family comes to visit, Jim Rash could be here. Yeah, that's that's wild. That's wild. I didn't even know he's from Charlotte. I knew that. I yeah. did know that. But I didn't know, you know, he had family here. And that's crazy, too. Like, the Dean is, like, one of my favorite characters. Like, the Dean. Well, I'm a peanut bar, and I'm here to say <laughs> sex will arrive on another day. Another day. Another. I know the whole time. Time to Tina Turner. Turn back the clock. <laughs> For those of you who are unaware who the Dean is on uh, Community uh, he's been described by one character as a pansexual imp. <laughs> That's my favorite <laughs> description. He's just, he's quite... A character. Quite a character. Yes, give, give, give him a YouTube search if you're curious. This <laughs> person that we, this person who is the uncle of a roommate that goes here. Yeah. Oh my god, imagine just going up to that kid and be like, I saw your uncle, and it's just a video of him doing the peanut bar rap. <laughs> <laughs> I love your uncle. Ew. Oh, it's so good. That's so cool. Well, we got about five minutes to wrap up the show. What are you doing for the weekend? The weekend. Arg. Uh, da, 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 da. Nothing. I don't have work. Oh. I don't have plans. I don't have homework. I guess I will catch up on household chores. Gross. Yeah. Very much so. But, um... I don't know. Other than that, I'm trying to save money, so I probably won't like do anything fun. Yeah, me what too. What about what about you? So, uh, I have a you know I have a nervous breakdown scheduled for you know nine yeah. a.m. tomorrow or something, but uh, I I I'm still behind on all my classes, and my professors are being kind and kind of working with me, but uh, I'm trying not to you know over over do that because like I'm behind on my me and Pruitt have not a class together, but class on the same subject with the same professor. And uh, I am super behind on my work in that class. I, that's the class that I may have to take an extracurricular over the summer for to graduate. I know. I was tweaking about my friend's class, but I think I'm going to be good. But, yeah, uh, I, I'm i sorry. I wonder if, um, if I fail that class and I'm still... <laughs> and I have to take an extracurricular over the summer. Am I still a student at App State, which means I can still work for the radio station, which means I can still get paid? True. That's probably. I mean, to be fair, uh, we have to train. For, for listeners at home, I won't be here next year, which means there's going to be a new program director of WASU, and I have to train them. And uh, maybe maybe I could get – because that's a, quite a lot of training. The uh, person who trained me was still helping me over the summer. 
Yep. I could. <laughs> can I get paid for it? <laughs> Take a while. You know, yeah, for real. We're we're all gonna not. I mean, who knows? We'll. You know, we should have a uh, where are they now segment on the morning app and just track down previous hosts and be like. So what are you doing? I know Kira Massey is in, in, in Nashville. Oh. Dovey just got a job being the official voice for some, some company. Uh, wow. Natalie Broom is still in. Uh, Matthews rep. I ran into her one time at a coffee shop, and she didn't re- recognize me, but the, like, uh-huh. the Starbucks of Matthews. I'm like, is that Natalie Broom? <laughs> cool. Yeah. And then it'll be Peter Cooper, Target Manager. Shut up! You're so mean. <laughs> I'm joking, but it did make me funny because like we have the Keller sign in here. Yesterday, a student, today a pro, and they used to have Mackie on there when Mackie was currently furloughed. And worked, <laughs> like, literally a Domino's delivery driver. So I was just like, yesterday a student, today, today a pro, <laughs> a delivery a pro, driver, a pro delivery driver. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's Lexi Hargis She's also in uh, Charlottesville. A. Hey. She's on the poster. Mm-hmm. Oh, you do. You're doing Keller, eh? Yeah, assuming I don't have a job by then. I hope I don't have to do Keller. Yeah, I will. You have to. We have to pay for it by like April, and I'm like, what and if we I don't get a refund? Do we? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, what? I know, right? It's like I kind of want to test my luck, but I'm not. All right, I'll do it. I'll be here anyways. I'm trying to get the full time position of my part time work. So like, anyways, this is not the business hour. Um, <laughs> that'd be <laughs> fun. We're gonna turn uh, on Monday. You guys are gonna be shocked, and it's just gonna be us talking about the stock market. For real. <laughs> All right. Well, this has been Teb Morning App. I'm Peter. I'm Ben. Adios.